All right, we're talking about heavy tweeters in business news this morning, and let's take a look at how stocks are doing as well. Mitch will explain that in a moment. Good morning. Yeah, we've got a little bit to explain, but first let's take a look <laughs> at the numbers right now. Right now they are uh, sort of mixed right now. The Dow is up about a half percent. Uh, S&P is down, but not very much. So, you know, don't worry too much about that market index. The NASDAQ, though, that's down more than 1%. The tech stocks are very volatile. A lot of tech earnings reports are coming out this week. Some of them good and some of them bad, and that's why the NASDAQ has been really volatile so far this week. Reuters reports that Twitter, speaking of a tech stock, is struggling to keep some of its most active users, the heavy tweeters, the volume tweeters, if you will. Uh, according to internal Twitter research, the number of heavy tweeters has been going down since the pandemic began. Heavy tweeters account for less than 10% of monthly overall users, but they generate 90% of all the tweets and half of the company's revenue. That's not great. The report also finds that cryptocurrency and pornography are among the fastest growing topics of interest, neither of which are attractive to advertisers. This comes as a judge orders Elon Musk to finalize his deal to buy the platform by the end of this week or face a trial. And Bloomberg reports that deal may indeed close as early as Friday. A recent poll by Virgin Australia found that almost no one wants to sit in the middle seat. Talk about things we already knew. To try to change that, the airline is offering a lottery to entice people to pick the highly unpopular seat. There's a weekly prize from a pool worth about $145,000. And if that sounds like a lot of money, listen to what they're giving away. Flyers sitting in the middle seat voluntarily or involuntarily during a flight will be eligible for some of the prizes. And among those prizes, a full day helicopter pub crawl, a helicopter pub crawl, because a regular pub crawl where you actually crawl, that wasn't good enough. Two night vacation in Cairns, Australia that includes flights, accommodations and a bungee jump. There are also flights and tickets to the Australian Football League Grand Final with exclusive access to the pregame lunch and after party. And that's all for just taking the middle seat. And Marnie, I, I, I can't believe the things they're talking about giving away just to get you to sit in the middle seat. I also can't believe that I don't care. I don't want the middle seat. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that. And I've changed. I used to like to sit on the window because I could lean up against the window and sleep. And then I realized after years I don't sleep well on planes. Yeah. So now I choose the aisle so that I can get up without having to, like, you know, inconvenience anyone else or myself. Yeah, I mean, the, I think the more you go to the bathroom, the more you're like, I'm going to sit on the aisle. I can't believe they're giving away such big prizes. It's really not an option. Like, if it's the only seat left, you're going to sit there, right? right? The one thing I'd like them to change, a little more leg room. We're, yeah. we're tall. Yeah, right. Or if we could just lean back That's for the, the whole thing. flight. I'm, I'm six foot two, and so for me, it doesn't matter if it's middle seat, aisle, window. Like, I'm going to be kind of uncomfortable. Only in the aisle can I at least stick my leg out, but exactly. then the cart comes along and runs you over. <laughs> right. She's, they don't even say excuse me anymore. They just hit you and keep no, moving. No, no. They're like, you should have known better. Should have been standing there. <laughs> All right, middle seat prizes. What next? What a strategy. What next? It's the little things. All right, Mitch, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.